Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you today how to work with mailing lists in Zoho campaigns. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the key points we're going to talk about today. You can create email lists, uh, mailing lists directly in Zoho campaigns or import existing lists, and we'll go through how to do that. Zoho campaigns will provide information about the value of your subscribers, such as whether they've opted out, whether they've clicked into um, what you sent them, etc. And once a mailing list is created, you can make changes, including adding fields and merging lists. So now let's go into Zoho, and we can look into how to do everything a little bit more. So here we're on the dashboard, which is what you come into when you first come into campaigns. And what you want to do from here is go to subscribers on the left black menu bar. And when you click on that, we're going to go to manage lists. And when you go to manage lists, you can see that I have several lists here already. And uh, let's go into one of them here. and I'll give you an overview of what you find here. The first thing you'll see in, in orange is the list summary. And on this list summary tab, you get an overall stats, how many subscribers you have, who unsubscribed, how many campaigns you've had, and how many bounces, meaning you couldn't get the emails out to them. You have prior month's activities if you've had multiple campaigns using this mailing list. You then can have a, a list sign-up summary, the sign-up subscription, single uh, sign-up form subscription, and then some other information as you as you scroll down. You also have here on the top in the blue, you have the subscriber view, which is what I have here. And then you have the response view, which if we had had campaigns on this, it would show you the information about the campaigns and not just the first one, but any campaign activity, say in the last six months, and you can always customize this. And then the third tab here is consent view. And this would show you who's opted in, who's denied, who's been active, and who's been passive. So this can give you information on maybe some people you want to clean out or maybe people that you want to do additional focused uh, targeting with. So if we go back to list summary now, we go to subs back to subscriber view, you could see next to list summary in orange, we have subscribers. And if you click on that, this will give you the subscriber information um, and the various columns that we brought in. Now from this, you can... Um, you can always make some changes. You can um, organize the columns a little differently if you want to pick which ones you want to include. Uh, you can, you know, just do a lot of different things. You can find who's active, who's recent, um, who's the most recent subscribers, active, um, and just start understanding the, the people on this list a little bit more. Another thing you can do is segment the, this, um, the list. And I'm just going to click on this quickly. I'm not going to go into detail, but you can pick what criteria. So you can go by the fields that you have. And let's say, for example, you wanted everybody whose first name uh, contains an X. For some reason, you wanted to focus on that. You can add this as a segment, and then later on, you can decide if you want to send something specific to that segment. I'm going to cancel out of that now. The next thing is pages and emails um, after segments, and this just gives you a little bit more information about the, the uh, mailing list. And then campaigns here, this is where you would see all of the sent campaigns that you had. So if we go back now, oh, and then if we go to the plus here at the top and do the drop down, from here is where you can add subscribers, you can segment, you can bulk segment, um, make some campaigns. You can do a lot of different things from here as well. And then on the More button, you can archive uh, a campaign. You can edit this list. And then you can um, do some information there. You can export the subscribers to have them as a backup. You can delete the list. You can make a mass update to this list. And a mass update could be adding a field. So it says here, you're about to mass update subscribers. So you can select a field. Um, yeah, maybe you wanted to make, uh, you know, everybody have, um, you know, a certain country and specify the value if they equal 
uh, let's say USA, and then you can make some actions from that. The other thing you can do is, uh, from Mass Update, you can actually create a new custom field that you can add in. So you can add something in within the campaign without having to go to each person. It would automatically update from here. So if we go back out to the list, I'm now going to show you how you can create a campaign. So when we go to cre uh, create a list, excuse me, when you go to create a list, the first thing you're going to see here is that there's an update regarding GDPR. And this has to do with some regulations for the European Union. So in this case, we're going to say we don't have any um, EU subscribers, and I'm going to click that instead so it goes away. Now we're going to name this list, and you want to make sure you name this list in a way that if a subscriber was to see it, they'd be okay seeing this name. So I'm just going to call this test2 list. And then you can also choose if you want subscribers to join this list via sign-up forms on your website. Uh, and if you do that, you can um, they would be able to go in. But if you only want this list to be specific lists that you create and not have other people, then you would click no. For now, I'm going to click no. And then you can tell describer, uh, subscribers you know, how you know them, why they are getting this. And as you see here from the note, this message will be added to the footer so people will know. Um, maybe you can say you are receiving this email because you subscribed in the past. So that would show up and um, give the subscribers a little bit more information. Then we can do create here. And then this is where we have a number of different options. You can add subscribers directly here manually from the add subscribers. Or you can go to import subscribers and import subscribers from a different list um, outside of, of Zoho campaigns. And then if you're working with um, something like Zoho CRM, you can sync subscribers. And by syncing subscribers, uh, you can then make sure that whatever updates happen in this system in Zoho campaigns will happen in Zoho CRM. And you can make that happen anytime a change is made or you can schedule it. I'm not going to go into a lot more detail on that now, but uh, that will be in a future video. So let's just add some subscribers manually just so you can see the list. Um, so I'm just going to say Dina at xyz.com. The email is a required field. Put my name, xyz company. I could put a phone number. You can provide additional details. Uh, as much as you have here is what will show up. You can provide some social info, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You can customize additional info that you want, um, maybe from, you know, you want the source where you know this, where you know them from, uh, things like that. So I'll just do cold call uh, for CRM and cold call here as well. You can add a new field as you do this. You can provide some account information if you want. Um, subscriber source, again, you can provide that here as well. So I'm going to say add based on the information that I did. And now you can see that this list has a total of one count with one new subscriber, and no one has unsubscribed to the list. So now you can choose to go to list view, and you can see me here as well. And you can keep adding to this list. Um, and let's add one more person so we can um, we can add, a, I'll add another subscriber so I can then just quickly show you how to uh, how you can make a segment. So this would be Tom at xyz.com. Put this as Tom, and then I'll just add this subscriber as well. So now I go to the list here. Now you can see we have two, subscri two subscribers. Um, and if we go here into subscribers, you could see you have Tom and you have Dina. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a segment just to show you what we can do with segments. D segment. And I'm going to say that the first name contains 
the letter D and save it. So now if I show the subscribers in this one, you could see that because my name starts with a D, I'm here and you have now created the segment. So again, we have the two, the two subscribers. They don't look any different here under the subscribers, but now if we go to segments, we can see that we have an additional segment and then we can always create some campaigns related on, on that one segment. So if I go back here uh, to my list, now you can see test two list is the list that we just created. In parentheses is the number of subscribers we have. And again, here you can add subscribers on the right. You can create a campaign directly from here. You can create segments. And then we can also, like we said before, export subscribers. You can delete the list. You can edit the list. You can do the mass updates that we showed. And you can clear the list. And when you clear the list, what that means is you're clearing out subscribers, but you're keeping the list here because you may want to add additional uh, subscribers in the future based on the parameters that you set for this list. So let's go back to our takeaways. And as you can see, we covered you can create emailing uh, mailing lists directly from uh, directly in Zoho campaigns, or you can import existing lists. We show we saw that you can see information about the value of your subscribers, who may have opted in, who may or opted out, um, you know different things like that. Uh, and then once the mailing list is created, you can make a lot of changes, including the fields, both the regular field or the custom field, or merging lists as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please check out our video library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions about Zoho, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.